Hi there, I'm John Rogers, the Head of Silver and Objects of Virtue at Chiswick Auctions, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about the differences between silver and different kinds of silver plate. Sterling, or 925, sometimes called solid silver, is the genuine article. It is assayed at the assay offices and it is pure silver. But over the centuries, as an expensive item, there have been substitutes for solid silver made. One of those is old Sheffield plates, made in the middle years of the 18th century until about 1840. It is actually a body of copper with a sterling silver sheet fused to it. Over the centuries of use, old Sheffield plate tends to wear away and reveal the copper core underneath. This is a telltale sign of old Sheffield plate in most cases. Occasionally it has a leaded border added to it as well, which also can be seen through wearing away. Following on from old Sheffield plates, we move to electroplate or electroplated nickel silver. This is actually a core of nickel that has had silver electrochemically added to it over the surface. It is often brighter and lighter in appearance than old Sheffield plate, which tends to age more maturely like silver articles themselves. There are a variety of marks to be found on electroplates. EPNS is often stamped EP or A1, determining the quality of the plates. One final factor between these things is the tension of the metal. Silver items have a springiness to them. They sort of give way under pressure from the thumb, whereas copper and nickel are hard and solid and on the whole don't bounce with any pressure applied to them. The values of these things all changes. Sterling is, of course, the highest. Old Sheffield plate is collectible in its own way because it was made largely between 1760 and 1840, and it does act as a great substitute for many otherwise extremely expensive things like soup tureens. Electroplated silver has been made from the 1840s onwards, and while it does have a very low value in most cases, there are collectible pieces by Elkington which do command good sums. It is, on the overall, much, much more common, and there are many items which are only worth a modest sum of five to ten pounds.